Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the February 2022 Apaka Box. So if you're not familiar with the Apaka Box, it is a bi-monthly subscription service put out by Creek Stewart. So every month, every other month, you're going to get a box like this and it's going to be loaded with well over $50 in gear, tools, as well as knowledge. If this is the kind of thing you'd like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. If you want to get an Apaka box exactly like this one, sometimes there's extras. Head over to MyApakaBox.com. If it is sold out, you better sign up now to get the next box that's coming out. So it's going to be in two months. That will be the April 2022 box, and you're probably going to see it here first. So there's usually a pamphlet included that goes over everything in the box. So the colored pamphlet for February 2022, there's a pretty good spoiler right on the front. And this was leaked out early. There's a Facebook group, the Apaka Box Spoilers. Uh, if there's any information, people will dig through and find it and put it out there. So I did hear there was going to be a Scotch Eye Auger in here. This is a heck of a bushcraft tool. So the first thing I'm picking up here, this is a substitute sushi survival guide. So this is a topic that appeals to me. I like the idea of just having one basic ingredient, rice, and then substituting and living off the landscape with found wild herbs and, and fresh caught meat and fish. This goes into a little bit more items that you could bring with you to add to that rice. So next thing out of the bag, this is a canvas ditty bag and it's got creeks new logo on it so this is a wax canvas ditty bag and it is lined actually which is kind of handy so i am a huge fan of ditty bags and being able to compartmentalize your gear so instead of just a giant dry bag or a giant backpack i can have individual kits inside of that and a bag like this is going to work out great for that so the next thing out of the box is a bushcraft cookery takedown cutting board kit so we see here there's definitely some assembler required with this and this is exactly the kind of thing that i go back and revisit i will be doing a separate video on assembling this cutting board before the next apocalypse box so next out of the box we have aqua tab water purification tablets now these are outstanding anytime i make a small personal survival kit these aqua tabs are my go-to i use a filter if I'm going to be more of in a camp situation to have more gear with me but something like this in a tin or uh, various ways you can carry this on your body all the time this is going to go a long way to making sure you have safe drinking water in a bad situation so next item out is a spoon spork multi-tool so this is actually pretty interesting Anytime you're around modern equipment, you're going to run into a situation where you're going to have loose hardware on something, and the standard bushcraft stuff just doesn't apply for this. So there is a can opener here. I've got a couple different size nuts that I can grab. This probably is a hex driver. looks a little small for that. I've got a bottle cap lifter right here. So there's a lot of tools that you can have with you in addition to just being able to eat. The next thing I'm seeing is a mini rechargeable headlamp. So this looks pretty cool actually. I see it's a motion activated sensor on that as well. So if you had this hanging in your hammock ridge line or in a tent and you were to wake up and just wave your hand, it's going to indicate where your light is. You could use this for camp security. Uh, I can see urban uses for this as well. I'm a huge fan of the rechargeable headlamps and this is by far the smallest one that I've got. I've always got USB batteries with me, either for my phone or my cameras or whatever I happen to have with me. So this is a no-brainer. So next out of the box, there is a piece of rope here with some smaller cordage, and this is going to be the skills challenge. There's tutorial vid videos included, and that's going to teach you the common whipping knot as well as the back splice. So each box, in addition to gear, there's also knowledge and a skills challenge. So this is going to be a great one. So next out of the box, I know what this is by looking at Hank's cookbook that I was just talking about with the Wilderness Walk. This is going to be a cleaver. So this cleaver has got a cool hole, it's got gills, awesome for camp prep, and because it's a twisted cleaver, 
there is no handle to break. So I have fairly large size hands. My hand does fit in here. This is going to be something that's going to be awesome to add to my almost complete wilderness cooking kit. I'm definitely happy to get this. So the last thing out of the box is the cover girl. This was the tool that was featured on our pamphlet. And of all the years I've been bushcrafting, I don't have one of these. I've got a lot of substitutes and I've got a lot of almost kind of does the same thing. But this is pretty cool. So a scotch eye auger is something that you can take this into the woods and you can craft a handle in the field. Once you have that made, you can drill holes and then you're able to use this as a guide for the size pegs you need. And you can assemble like real things in the woods. You can make furniture, you can make shelters. Something like this is absolutely invaluable. So the February 2022 Apaka box absolutely nailed it this month. I've got a lot of bushcraft gear. I'm going to be the first to admit that. But I do not have a Scotch Eye Auger. This is invaluable for camp use. I've used hand bits. I've improvised versions of this, but I've never had a real one, and now I do. The Sockeye Cleaver is something I'm really impressed with. I like the craftsmanship of this. This is something I'm going to add to my cook kit, and every single time I'm out, I guarantee someone's going to pick this up and talk about how cool this is. If you like projects as much as I do, we've got you covered with the cutting board kit, as well as learning new skills by whipping the end of this rope with the two included tutorials. To round out that food kit, you're going to have clean water to cook with. You've got a great cookbook with new recipes to try that's going to be on the cheap, which is always something I'm looking for, as well as a pretty cool multifunctional utensil that you can add to your kit and forget about until you find a use for one of these other tools. Now combine all that with a lined waxed canvas ditty bag and a rechargeable headlamp, and that's a winner for sure. So definitely, definitely sign up. Don't miss the next Apaka box. If there's one available, jump over and buy one of the few spares that they have, but sign up for the next one for sure. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.